Hello! So, I've got another treasure chest farming guide for you today. This time, as you can probably see, we're headed to Clockwork City. Now, I hadn't actually planned on doing this zone next, but I was farming it myself for a couple of things, and I found a really quick and easy route, so I thought I might as well share it with you. Now, as with other zones, there are three sets that drop in Clockwork City. They are Mad Tinkerer, which is a Magicka set, Unfathomable Darkness, which is a Stamina set, and Livewire, which is a Tanking set. There are a couple of passives you might want to get that are always helpful when you're farming treasure chests. So, first of all, let's come into our champion points. Whoop. You're going to want the Treasure Hunter passive, which increases the quality of items you find in treasure chests. So that's going to give you a better chance of getting higher quality loot. Very nice. Then if we come into our skills... Uh, if we come into Ledger Domain, you might want to get the Locksmith passive. This increases your chance of forcing locks, and it saves you having to pick them, so it's just a bit of a time saver. Now you'll see, I don't have any points in this. Uh, I could probably put a couple in, but I need these skill points for something else. So I'm not going to do that. So you're going to have to bear with me while I pick the locks. Uh, you may notice I'm not on my usual character. I normally do this on my main, which is my Magicka DK. But I'm on my Stamina Nightblade today. However, that is pretty useful because I've got Cloak, which is going to save me having to fight all of the baddies. So that's very handy. Although, being a Stamina Nightblade, I can only do about three of those before I run out of Magicka. But it's enough, I find. Alright, so let's head on over to the area and I will show you the route. Okay, so here we are. Now, this route is a little bit different from ones I've done previously, in that we're not farming the Overland, we're actually farming a Delve. So, if I bring up my map, we're down here at the Shadow Cleft. It's kind of on the west side of the map. Let's head inside. Okay, so let's bring up our map. So this is what the delve looks like. You can see there are these little treasure chest icons. These are all of the chests that I'm going to be showing you. It's quite a quick little route and I've found that the chests respawn pretty quickly. So you can run this over and over again and quite a few of the chests are going to be there each time. So it's pretty nice. Now we do need to go a little bit further in to start. So let's do that. And you can't mount your horse in here either, so we're going to have to sprint everywhere. It's a bit of a pain. Also, I did see another player come in just ahead of me, so I hope they're not going to beat me to all the chests. That would be very annoying. Okay, let's just stop here, and I'll bring the map up again. So you can see we're at this junction. This is our starting point. So if you're going to run loops over and over again, this is where you're going to come back to each time. Now, what I'll do is I'll bring up the map whenever we get to a chest, and then you can see exactly where we are. So first, we're going to head left up here. And the first one is just in here. You're going to have to fight this gargoyle to get to it. Didn't really need my Dawnbreaker there. <laughs> so, yep, there we go. First one's here. Uh, and this is where we are on the map. After that, we're going to come left up here and down towards the water it's gonna go for a little swim and the next one's just here there we go Hope these aren't going to all be simple chests, that would suck. 
So we're now here. Then we're going to run up the rock here. And hop down. And the next one is just in the water there. You do need to be careful of the Gloam Hag. Sometimes if she spots you, she'll pull you over towards her and you're going to have to kill her first. But yeah, so the next one spawns just there. So that's where we are. And the next one after that is right nearby, just down here. Uh, probably don't need to bring up the map again, but there we are, right next to the other one. After that, we're going to head towards the bridge over here. And it's just underneath. Simple chests again. Groovy. So, we're now here. Then we're going to cross over the bridge. Now, normally there's a, what you call it, a shrike, whatever they're called, there's one there. So I think the other player's probably just ahead of me. Right, we're going to head up the stairs. Cloak. And kill these two. And you. Oh, they're fighting the boss over there. It's fine, they can get on with it. Uh, and then the next one is just behind this wall. It's 3 a.m. as well. I wasn't expecting anyone else to be here. Um, so, we are now up here. Then we're going to head down here. If the boss is up, you can kill it if you want. Just continue past. And the next one is up here. You're going to have to kill these. And the chest is just behind. Ruby. Don't know why I'm picking up that crap. Uh, oh. So, bring up the map. We're now over here. Then, I'm going to head down here. Hop down the rocks, and we're going to cut through the pumpkin patch here. Kill these. And the chest is just here, if it's up. So we're now over here. After that, uh, we're going to head down here. Oh, they're doing the quest. Sneak past here. And up the stairs. Oh, it's not there. There's usually a... Oh, there she is. A gloam hag. So get rid of her. And there's sometimes a chest just here. So we're now over here. After that... We're going to head around and down towards the bridge. Kill these crocodiles. 
And the chest's just under the bridge. Man, I'm sucking at this today. There we go. Okay, so we're now here. Then we're gonna go underneath the bridge, past these crocodiles, and up here. Groovy. So we're now here. After that, we're gonna hop down here. No. And there's one just over here. All these are simple chests. Not impressed. Cool. So we're now here. Then we're going to head up these stairs. <laughs> Get rid of you. Oh yeah, you can see my, my little budgies here. That's the Unfathomable Darkness set. That's quite fun. They're not budgies, they're crows. I like to call them budgies. Damn it. Cool. So, we are now down here. Then, sneak past these guys. can't sprint while you're cloaked either, because it pulls you out of stealth. Damn it! It's stuck in a root. Uh, and then the next one... Am I being chased? No. Next one is just here. Um, so that's over here. After that, we're going to head back down this way. Up the stairs. And let's get rid of this gargoyle. Ouch. Whoops, my bar swap didn't work. That was a shit show. I've been using a uh, quick cast for my ground abilities, but I think I might turn it off because my caltrops don't always go off. That happened just there. It's very annoying. Anyway. The next chest is just here. Another simple chest. Uh, so we're now down here. And we're gonna come down here and to the right. Get rid of this gargoyle. That's not a gargoyle, that's a grievous twilight. Uh, and the next chest is just behind this tree stump. Groovy. So, we're now here. Then we're gonna head over this way. Um, let's get rid of these. And there's one tucked just here. Oops, skips the first pin. There we go. So, we're now here. 
Hey. Uh, <laughs> then, where am I? Yes, there we go. We're gonna head up here. And there's one tucked away just in here. Another simple chest, yay. I ran this earlier just to remind myself of where they all were, and I got quite a few master chests, but yeah, not so lucky this time around. Cool, so that's the last one in the route, and we're now here. Then I'll show you how to get back to the start. So we're just going to come around this way, hop over here. And there we are, back where we started. Well, I hope you found that helpful. Do give the video a like if you liked it. I'll be doing one of these treasure chest guides for every zone in the game, so if you haven't already, you might want to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications just to make sure you don't miss anything. If you're interested, I also stream ESO over on Twitch, so drop me a follow there. You can find a link to that and all of my social media in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.